Hello, 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 and welcome to Tuck's Take, brought to you by PlaySugarHouse.com, your home for live in-game betting. More on that in a moment. But first off, happy holidays, happy new year. Last week was a tough one for us. With under 12 minutes left in the game, the New York Jets were up by 15, and I was getting three points. Somehow they lost by six. Hashtag fire Todd Bowles. And with under five minutes to go, Philly was up 29-16. They ended up winning the game 32-30. Unfortunately, we were giving two and a half points. To lose one of those is bad. To lose them both, tragic. It's a tragedy. Melodramatic, possibly, but a tragedy nonetheless. We are now 37-30-2 going into the last week of the regular season. Week 17 is an intriguing animal like no other because each team's motivation is unique. Some teams are locked into a playoff spot like Dallas and New Orleans and might want to rest players. Others might be playing for their playoff lives like Indy, Minnesota, Philly. A few were just eliminated from the playoffs while others have been out of contention for weeks. Or in the Buffalo Bills case, months. In other sports, you can usually count on players playing their hardest. And I'm not suggesting that NFL players don't always play 100%. Wait, actually that's exactly what I'm suggesting. But I get it. When injuries are so prevalent and contracts aren't guaranteed, it's easy to understand why a player might make, uh, let's call it a business decision, in a meaningless late December game. My job, your job, is to figure out if it provides any value for us as we look for appetizing bets to make. And this brings me back to what PlaySugarHouse.com does so well, live in-game betting. Week 17 is the perfect week to watch the games, get a feel for who is playing hard and who is over it, and of course, bet accordingly. Andrew Luck has never lost the Tennessee Titans. Never. I mean, ever. He's a perfect 10-0 against the Titans, including a 38-10 thumping in Week 11. The game this week is for the playoffs. That's right, you win, you're in. I love that kind of stuff. The Titans have won four straight, and Derrick Henry's re-emergence has been impressive. But let's not get crazy. They beat Jacksonville, the Jets, the Giants, and the Redskins, who are starting their fourth quarterback of the season. Couple this with Marcus Mariota being sidelined or possibly playing hurt, and I find it hard to get behind Tennessee. The Colts, by the way, have won nine of their last 10. I think they continue to roll this week. Give me Andrew Luck and the Colts, baby. This might not come as much of a shocker to you, but teams from the Sunshine State don't fare particularly well on the road in December. The Dolphins, 2-8 against the spread in their last 10 December road games. Miami just got eliminated from playoff contention. I find it hard to believe they are going to travel to Buffalo and play hard while freezing their asses off. In addition, Miami has only won one road game all season. I'm not going to tell you that Buffalo is a good team. We know they're not. But they're gritty, and they almost won the last time these two played back in Week 13. Buffalo is a prideful city, and their team will send the fans home happy this week take the Bills. The Dallas Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? Cowboys have clinched the NFC East and are essentially playing for nothing. They're also not getting the bye and they'll want to rest their best players on offense and defense. The Cowboys were in a similar situation in 2016 when they entered the last game of the season with a 13-2 record facing off against the 6-9 Eagles. With the Cowboys best players watching from the sidelines, Philly won 27-13. The question this week is simple. Are the New York Giants starters better than the Cowboys' backups? I'm going with yes. Yeah, I, I had to think about it. <laughs> Give me the G-men. My teaser special of the week is Detroit and the Rams. Once again, very simply put, when you tease, you must win both games. But you get to move the line. And that's really cool. The Rams haven't been great as of late, especially against the spread. But they need the win this week versus the 49ers to lock up a first-round bye. I'm going to move that line from minus nine and a half to minus two and a half. And while Detroit's offense has had issues all season, this final game is all about pride. It's a divisional game versus a vastly overrated Packer squad. I like the lines to keep this game close. So I'm gonna move the line from plus eight to plus 15. Heading into the last week of the regular season, it's always fun to look at some Super Bowl bets and see if we can find any value. 2018, the year where depending on what week it was, we had a different elite unbeatable team, which tells me that no team is unbeatable, no team is perfect. 2018 feels wide open, and because of that, I'll avoid the favorites. There's just no value in betting on the New Orleans Saints at plus 260. Instead, I'm looking for teams that have the necessary ingredients to go on a run at a good price. Dallas, 
great running game along with a stout defense. At 25 to 1, it's just too good a price to ignore. Indianapolis, they've won 9 of their past 10, and Andrew Luck is healthy. 33 to 1 is a gift. The Chargers can beat anyone on any given day and still might have more talent than anyone when healthy. They should be healthy for the playoffs. You can get 12 to 1 on them. The Bears? Yeah, they have limitations at quarterback, but whoa, that defense is good. Trent Dilfer once won a Super Bowl, so certainly Mitchell Trubisky can. Your $100 bet on the Bears wins you $1,100. By the way, if you're a first-time depositor, use the deposit code TUCK, that's T-U-C-K, for a 100% match on any dollar amount up to $250. That'll do it for this week's edition of Tuck's Take. Until next time, I'm David Tuckman. Enjoy the games, and good luck. And Happy New Year!